you are positive. Today is going to be an amazing day. You are impacting lives. You are making changes. You are setting new records and goals. Do your best, but let God do the rest. And let's go. New day. So today's challenge, one is to work with Kiara and give her great choreography. The second challenge today is I'm going back to Bishop Dunn, so really recruiting some of those kids to come take the workshop. I really thoroughly think about my clothes for teaching, and so I'm teaching at Bishop Dunn after the um, private with Kiara, and so like I already have like my workout clothes on and but I have boots on because when I'm working with Kier I'm really just guiding her and so as a dancer sometimes we see clothes of regular days and then sometimes we just see workout clothes where this whole trip has been just workout clothes for me so then I'm gonna throw on I like to support other people's brands kind of you know market them in a way and so my friend blue who's a artist his company wage war which he opened a few years ago i love wearing this uh, sweatshirt it's so comfy i have wage war everything i have a war shirt in my suitcase um it's just you know just a way to be comfortable kind of close to a casual day a guilty pleasure and um that's like my favorite breakfast if i do eat breakfast donuts Mm, mm, mm. So, in the West Coast, Krispy Kreme is pretty much everything to everybody. Those are real donuts to them. For me, real donuts are homemade donuts from like scratch, like by hand. My other guilty pleasure is Piggy in the Blankets. Mm, mm, mm. That's the other thing about the West Coast. They don't even know what these are at all. So I figured I'd share that because I think that is a fun fact. Because as a dancer, you think we always eat healthy, but we have guilty pleasures too. I'm excited about working with Kiara today. I think that this will be a great, great opportunity to put some more of my work out there on a more private base. Kiara is a local Dallas singer who is amazing honestly i can't say it any other way this girl is truly blessed with a great talent it's called summer fade it's so old school you got a taste of what she sounds like but we are in rehearsal with the miss kiara gray this is one of two of the artists I work with here in Dallas, and she's super, super amazing. We are working on her single. What is it? The Summer Fade. The Summer Fade. You can find it on iTunes. And um, yeah, so we're getting her video together and some of her solo work. And so yeah, check it out. <laughs> This is our second session together, so let's see how much she's progressed. Five, six. Yes, ma'am. Tip. Was your rehearsal it was great i really feel great about it 
Sharonda <laughs> is the best. Yes. <laughs> made me feel confident, made me feel like I can do this, you know, in my own style. Yeah. And I'm just so excited and happy to put it on video. Y'all see she said my favorite word, confidence is key. Yes, yes, yes. Morgan and I had like a lot of fun at the workshop. I mean I've done one of hers before last year. She came to my dance class here and we did a combo and it was really fun and I just like it because it's like really high energy like the entire time and I like the choreography because it's harder so it's like a challenge. Um, my favorite part of today was just her pushing us because I've never had dance training before and so sometimes it's hard for me to get out there but she was very comfortable with me and she just like pushed me to where I wanted to do it and I love dancing but a lot of times I don't know exactly what I'm doing because I never had training but she made it just seem like fun she she just made it seem like you, you don't have to have training you don't have to always know what you want to do but she just pushed me out there to where I felt comfortable and I felt like I knew what I was doing um, I'm Reagan Barton and I really liked this experience because I've never had someone come in and do just a workshop on the spot I didn't know that we were doing this today <laughs> um, and it was really new for me because I've been taking studio dance for almost 12 years and I've never done just a workshop. I've always just gone into dance class two or three times a week with my teacher. It's the same thing almost every week. So it was really nice to change things up. She gave me really useful corrections. For example, she helped me with arm placement, which helped with my breathing and overall posture while I was dancing. And I feel like that really helped a lot because it's just a habit that I needed to fix and I wasn't even aware of it until she told me. She helped me a lot because I do have dance training but sometimes you don't really get the stuff you need. You get the stuff that like it's just minor things and it kind of helped me with my arms because not everyone in my dance studio has long arms so it's hard, harder for me and I'm glad she like helped me with my arm placement so I know what to do and then when she pulled me out and told me to go back again to do my switch sleeves just to point my feet and I feel like it was really encouraging just like Chelsea said that she pushes you and it's really comforting. I just think like she's she's an amazing role model she's like amazing choreographer and amazing dancer and it was just a really fun time. She's amazing. <laughs> And she, she makes you feel like you're a natural. She makes yes. you feel like she, you're as good as she is. Yes. And that's my favorite word in the world. Confidence. Everybody say confidence. Confidence. Thank you. You said it with confidence. Thank you. That is my favorite word in the world. Ever. Any other word could make me happy, but that one for sure. Because it tells so much about who you are as a person, right? The fact that I asked a question and they immediately were like, yes. <laughs> right? I would book them quick fast and in a hurry because that shows commitment, right? I do book people. I book people all the time. I don't care what grade you are or how old you are. I have little seven-year-olds that were in my, uh, my viral video because I asked who wanted to do it and they came to that audition and showed out, right? I don't care how old you are. If you show me you have confidence and you show me that I can trust you, I'm going to book you. And that's what professionals do. They look at who they can trust. They also look at who will give their all, right? So no matter what, if you don't know the whole thing, and you tell me, I say, hey, you want to come out here and learn? And you're like, yes, and come out here and have a fool, I'm probably going to book you. Regardless if you know the answer or not, because I know you're willing to learn. 
just like taking everything she has to offer you because she really is like a great person and like she's always just trying to make everything better for somebody else so like anything that you can learn from her is oh my goodness anything that you can learn from her is always gonna be great because it's just a great experience it always is like it's always fun when she comes around I mean, I was dying on the app work a little bit, and I was like, this is how my drill team feels when I do this to them. So it's always good to see her when she comes back, because she always brings, like, a whole bunch of energy when she comes. Like, you can tell, like, oh, that's Rwanda, yo, yep, <laughs> yep, that's Rwanda, because she just brings so much energy and, like, happiness when she comes in. Like, she's never really in a bad mood. I, I don't think I've actually ever personally seen her in a bad mood, personally. Probably like, not. Like, I haven't seen it. <laughs> and if, it might have happened, but I haven't seen it personally, so it's always a good time when she's around. Very first time I've ever had to do a we didn't finish our dance, and we needed like two more seconds of something, right? My teacher goes, hey, you should go out there and do a switch direction. Okay, thank you, bye. I was like, she said switch and then direction. I said, oh, and she's like, go! Oh! Right at the end of the dance, and I was like, So like all of the things that like I do now is like stuff that I had to teach myself and Shawana was talking about how she had to basically learn how to do a switch Russian on the fly and that kind of made me think about dang that's basically a lot of what I've had to do in drill team like I had to adapt to everything so that's kind of stuff that she's taught you like how to adapt to things. I've never seen your work before Bounce but I really like you and I like your spunk and <laughs> I really had fun so thank you. Thank you so much. We are here at the Orinder Family Athletic Complex and this was actually built to expand the arts programs here at Bishop Dunn. Um, me starting as a dancer, Ms. Daly, who was the principal at the time, who is now the president, she really wanted to push the arts and knew that um, there was a lot of us that didn't involve ourselves in the arts here at Bishop Dunn, but she decided to make a dance room because there were so many dancers here who needed the space and the opportunity and drill team didn't have their own area. So this is pretty much built off of my ideas. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> I used to teach and coach Shawanda when she was here at Bishop Dunn. I've known her since she was in middle school, so like this big. And um, she's like more like a little baby sister than a former student. <laughs> but no, she's everything. She was my coach, so. I call him Teddy Bear. I'm the only one that can. That's right. This is Mr. Wood. He's awesome. He's known me since I was... More, before I was at Bishop Dunn, so like fifth grade. Okay. Ooh, ooh, my dad and him were like best friends. But yeah, it's good seeing well, you. You're doing what you're doing. Oh, you know, twinkle toes all the time, <laughs> all the time. And this school, this school has such a dear spot in my heart. Um, a lot of people don't know Bishop Dunn is the most predominantly diverse Catholic school, and that's why we get a lot of heat. But they've invested so much in so many students that have succeeded. They've got our class raised over a million dollars in scholarships. And I think that was truly a blessing because a lot of us started from seventh grade together and graduated together. But what I really appreciate about Bishop Dunn is that they still stay connected and keep up with me and my family. And I also love the fact that I can call them family. Um, you know, when you're in school, you're tired of the teachers and you're tired of the homework, but I come back every year and thank them. And never once have I ever denied coming back here, and I, I love every bit about it. But yeah, that's Bishop Dunn for you. Bye, Sharonda. Bye. This week has shot me down. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't know. I chose to do a, a more advanced level for Bishop Dunn, mainly because I know they're a drill team and they have the technique of strictly being like a drill team, kicks and leaps and stuff off of boxes and all these things, but a lot of these girls dance outside of school and with them dancing outside of school, they have the training and technique, but they have the same instructors every week. And so for me, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna throw a combo at them and show them the challenges because a lot of these girls do wanna dance later on, but they don't know, you know, what 
what they're gonna get from the outside world and so I'm bringing the outside world in. That's also why I'm coming back to Dallas to teach because I realize there's so many instructors that teach their students every week but like they don't correct them or they don't uh, give them critiques that they can utilize. They just kind of tell them, oh, you didn't point your foot and keep going, but not putting them in that position to say, you really have to point your foot because it's really important. And so for me, that's my biggest challenge is coming back to Dallas and being an instructor that pays attention and allows them to know I'm paying attention and uh, giving them the, the satisfaction and the comfort with me to know that I, I care about their well-being and I care about who they are as a dancer and I care about them being them, not worrying about being me or anybody else because no dancer is the same. No dancer will ever dance the same, but just having the opportunity to know you can be you is amazing. I've been in their position and I came to Dunn and I told myself I would never be on the dance team and I did. I held out to my junior year and I got on the team and I changed it. <laughs> I changed it to a dance team. I taught the girls technique for by myself and people started loving them and then I left and the people kept it up and then Miss Kelly came back and made it a drill team again like it was when she was here at Dunn but just knowing that these girls now have true dancers on the team that saw what was changing and wanted to put themselves out there and being a part of a school program is amazing to me. So why not challenge them? Um, I always say I make simple combos that are very difficult and I think that's because I like challenges and I like the ability to challenge your mind because something so simple as picking up your arm becomes so hard because you're thinking about it. And so today it was cool to see how they reacted and took the challenge to take the combo and just to hear their words and how happy they were. And I can't wait to see them, you know, the next time and see how much they've improved because I know a lot of them are going to go to classes from now on. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I decided to challenge Bishop Dunn and make them an advanced class. And I think it was a good turnout.